morning everyone, Libby here. Welcome back to my wardrobe yet again. I'm going to go through it, yes, once more. Last did a declutter and move towards a more minimalist wardrobe. About six months ago, I have since read The Art of Tidying. That was called, I think, the um, book by Marie Kondo, or the Con Marie Method. The book that is taking YouTube by storm. I actually read it back in January. I don't know how I came across it, but I read it in January and um, it's been sort of playing in my head ever since. But I'm now ready to um, sort of start to go through as my health permits. So that is my biggest issue is I can't quite do it the way she suggests. But I've, I've decided that I think I can do my wardrobe as she suggests by taking all the clothes out. I'm a little bit nervous because I find with my health I have fibromyalgia. Usually about an hour at a time is all I can manage, but... Um, I think I can probably sit down for some of this and sort through the pile of sitting. So hopefully that will enable me to do quite a bit more. So I'll show you the wardrobe to start with. Obviously I'm just doing my own clothes at this stage. And then hopefully I'll get my husband on board at a later date. But who knows. <laughs> He's certainly not in the mood for any of that sort of stuff right now. But I'll show you what I have. Okay, so this is sort of my section, main section of the wardrobe. All my clothes are here. Um... As I said, I did move to a minimalist wardrobe six months ago, but unfortunately with being ill, I've still gained more weight. So some of the clothes that fitted then don't fit anymore. I don't think very much in my winter wardrobe fits. Um, up the top, I now have all my clothes that are too small. So I've got some more over there as well. Um, and yeah, so that's it for clothing. I've got jammies and underwear in those drawers. I probably won't do them today. But I'm going to lift all my baskets down. Um, some have got bags and shoes, so I won't do them today. But all the ones with clothes I'm going to put on my bed and go through yet again and wheedle out some more things. One other thing I just want to point out is um, in regards to my clothing, I have clothes in a lot of different sizes. I gained an awful lot of weight last year when I was sick. So I'm like two sizes larger than I was last winter. I think that's right. So I'm going to keep a variety of sizes. So obviously some of those clothes don't bring me joy at the moment because they don't fit. But I can't afford to just go and replace everything. So I'm going to keep my absolute favourites from those. Ones that did bring me joy back when they fitted. I'll try and sort of do it, clarify it like that. And um, ones that I know, you know, won't be easy to replace if they're better quality items or more expensive items. That I love and that bring me joy. I will keep. So just bear that in mind. <laughs> um, what I aim to have in the bottom part of my wardrobe hanging up is all the clothes that currently fit, which at the minute won't be much. I have to repurchase most of my winter wardrobe. I need to buy a little bit of winter wardrobe at this stage because I am hoping to lose some weight. And I know sometimes it only takes a couple of kilos or, you know, what, I don't know, seven to ten pounds. And um, that makes a big difference to what actually fits. So I don't have to lose a lot of weight to probably fit back into some of these clothes. So anyway, <laughs> let's get to it. In my wardrobe. Oh, I spot another top. <laughs> so there might still be a few things in the washing, and plus that I'm wearing. Obviously, in the washing, I've worn them recently, and I probably love them. Um, if not, when things come back out, I'll make sure that I do love them. So now the really embarrassing fact is there is that pile there. And those two piles, or maybe half of which fit in those piles, and that is it. The rest of the clothes don't actually even fit at the moment. Some of my winter jackets, perhaps. Um, 
so yeah that's not good and again besides the ones on hangers which were in the wardrobe all the rest are tops except for that one pile that you can see just there those pants so i definitely have a problem with tops <laughs> all right i think i'm going to start first of all with what's currently in the wardrobe gone through so these are clothes I'm going to keep now a few I need to check whether they actually fit or not but I'm still keeping them anyway they are from last winter these clothes and there's a, th a few I threw on the floor over there that I know don't fit but I want to keep and I've got one there from last year I bought when I was kind of desperate um, so I think I'm going to get rid of that I wore it once last year so that's probably the answer it should go all right, moving on to the next pile. going through all the clothes that I currently wear oh okay so it makes the size clothes so these are all the things I'm keeping a little pile here of what were these things that I'm keeping that don't, don't currently fit I've got to try that jacket on I don't think it'll fit but I'll probably put it aside the green jacket I wasn't sure about I want to try it back on and then so it's a bit awkward I'm working with a big tripod so I've got a few things down there, got rid of a few things that when I held them I thought they were going to bring many joy. So they're going and um, yeah, things I'm keeping. So I've got a bit of a scattered mess now so I'm going to sort that out and get that tied and put away. And then I can start work on things that were actually, well the most exercise pile to go through. Um, which is just here. And um, then I can start work on the harder things. I still got the tags on it from when I bought it quite a few years ago. I have bought it on sale. <laughs> got paid seventy dollars for it, but I think I went on sale. But I still love it. So I hope one day to be able to wear it because the colour is gorgeous.
have made some progress. I've got a heap more stuff. So these are all those two piles of clothes that are too small that I want to keep. <laughs> a few things over there that I'm not likely ever to fit into, but I'm not ready to part with either yet. Just because I know if I ever get there, I'll regret getting rid of those things. So I don't want to let go of them yet because I can't repurchase really some of them either. So, okay, now I'm going to work on this pile here. Now this is going to be harder to get rid of because these, well, I think mostly are closed from a few years ago, but I'll see. Trying very hard. I know the last time I did my wardrobe, I actually got rid of a lot of things and um, pared down from the clothes that are too small. <laughs> that I bought when I lost a lot of weight a few years ago. So but that's going back now to like 2008, 2009 was when I had lost a lot of weight. So those clothes are already five, six or seven years old. So I've really got to obviously make sure the style is still something I would want to wear. Assuming I fit it back into them in the next few years. <laughs> So after about an hour, this is what I'm left with. <laughs> this last lot of stuff, I've got a couple of piles of things to keep. Reasonable size of things to donate. The pants that I've kept, I've kept most of them because I have a lot of trouble getting pants that fit. I've got uneven legs thanks to a blood clot 16 years ago. So if I've got pants that fitted once before I want them. Particularly my jeans, being that they're wide leg jeans, and I know wide leg jeans aren't in fashion anymore, which is not good for me. But there are two pairs of pants in there that I never fit into before, so if I ever fit into them, it's a real long shot, not lightly, so they can go. <laughs> so I've still got a few jackets and whatnot to sort through from last winter. Um, <laughs> this one I loved, I bought it last year, and it's so soft, but it doesn't, I don't know. I think I only wore it once or twice last year. Didn't really go with anything that I got the way it sits. But I'll try it on. Got a few things to try on. A few more things made over here to donate. And then I've got my winter clothes from last year to try them all on and make sure I'm happy with those. Well, I'm not sure what'll fit, but we'll see how they sort of maybe there's a couple of items in there that can go as well. So what I'm gonna do now is get boxes. I'm hoping to try and whittle down some boxes, but I don't know. I've still got too much stuff. I might sort out these things first and then maybe go back through again and see if I can get rid of a few more things in there, especially in the smaller sizes. But I did do a lot of that last time when I did a big um, clean out or purge in um, was September last year or August last year. Oh no, I did that earlier this year when I needed space in the wardrobe. So. The kind of things from way too small now are not very many actually and just things that I really love and like classic things that haven't gone out of style. I managed to put a few things in there that I quite like still but I know they don't fit the vision of my wardrobe so I let them go as well. So 
All right, I'll see what I can <laughs> tidy up. I've got to leave home in about, oh, I've still got nearly an hour, so I should be able to get the bulk of this tidied up. Making progress. So I've got um, winter jackets in here, which I'm still hoping may fit come winter. Um, winter clothes, summer clothes, and their pants and some jackets are a lot smaller. Another one of more recent summer clothes, some from this year, some from last summer. So hopefully by summer they should all fit. All those to donate. Um, and I've actually sent Christy off with some things that were brand new with tags that I'd bought at my lowest weight and still thought I was going to lose more weight and never got to that weight. So a few things there I think they've got adjustable shoulder straps and I think will actually work for her. I said, said just make sure you try everything on, anything you don't want or don't doesn't fit nice or whatever, bring it back and we'll add it back to the pile. But yeah, six months later I've got those things to get rid of. And as I've still got winter clothes there to try on. And yeah, excuse the mess, I <laughs> found some more things up the top. So the wardrobe, as you can see now, is um, looking very sparse. Because <laughs> this is all that fits me. <laughs> hmm. Yeah. <laughs> and considering they're, like, they're exercising around the house clothes. Yeah, I don't have a lot to wear, do I? But anyway, that's okay. <laughs> I have ordered a few winter items already, just enough just to tide me over and get me through and um, hopefully I'll buy different back into last year's winter clothes before too long. Okay, one thing I haven't done is gone through my like special event clothes. So um, I've got two dresses that don't fit and are from a long time ago, but they're just basic black dresses. I'm just going to hold on to them for now and then I've got a couple from last year that oh, I had to buy from women on a cruise so they'll just sit in there um, I wasn't sure about leaving this out because it doesn't really look nice on me at the minute but I bought it years ago it makes me happy and um, even though I don't wear it much, <laughs> I wear it a few times in the year. And I see the ponchos are kind of back in again. Maybe not quite that thick a poncho, but they're back in. I love the colour. That's my jacket from last year, which is a fraction tight at the minute. But hopefully by winter that will fit. And then I've just got all my robes and stuff in there now because I've got plenty of space. <laughs> because my poor wardrobe looks very empty. 